I'll tell you what, I just got to stay out of these gym shops around here. A couple weeks ago, maybe a month or so ago, I did a video and I mentioned the phrase, or I asked a question, have you ever walked into a gun shop and when you left, you had a lot less money? That seems to be an ongoing problem for me here anymore. I'm Mark, you're watching the Garage Guy channel. Hello everybody, today is Friday, July 5th, 2019, and we just had a pretty good downpour of rain here, and well, it's getting humid again. It does that here in the central Appalachians. But, you know, que sera, sera, what can you do about it? Anyhow, I was mentioning about walking into the gun shop and leaving with a lot less money than I had before. Now, today being Friday, July 5th, this, well, it was Wednesday, I uploaded a video here to YouTube about this revolver right here, the uh, Taurus 605 Chamber 357 Magnum. So far, I got some real good responses about it. Also stated in that video that I was looking for one in the, with the matted stainless finish on it, but they didn't have it. Plus the fact, I got this at Highland Arms and they was having a uh, promotion, no sales tax on any new used firearms. So I went ahead and bought this one instead of waiting on the stainless to come in the next week. Well, earlier today, a neighbor of mine, I talked to him here a while back, he had a really nice Glock hat. And I asked him, I said, where'd you get this? He said, Scotty's Guns and More, located in my hometown of Chilhowee, Virginia. And uh, I said, well, you got any more? And he said, well, he'd ran out, but he said he's supposed to get some more in. So he called me earlier today and said, Mark, Scotty's got some more of those Glock hats in. So I went down there with every intention of only buying this hat. But lo and behold, what did I see? I saw this. This, my friends, is the Taurus 605 Chamber 357 Magnum, and it has the matted stainless finish, and it is a pretty little revolver. What do you say we get over here on the bench under the bright light? Just take a quick close look at it. Let's do this. All right, my friends, we're here on the bench under the bright light. Let's go ahead and open this up. Like I said, this is a really nice looking revolver. Uh, course owner's manual instructions all that whole nine yards uh, warning paper stuff like that not lifetime repair policy and there's a little red thingy that was in the cylinder the keys of course this does have an internal lock and I'll never use it I've never had any problems with the internal lock on any Taurus product all right here we go Open this up. Get this out of the way. That is nice. I walked out of this, or walked out of the gun shop with this for $2.99. Matter of fact, uh, I ended up, I gained $300 and uh, he gave me something like seven cents back, a nickel and two pennies good price for this. I got both of these for under 300 This is just a good looking firearm. Uh, that's a nice firearm. I like the old blued finish better than I do this new kind of finish, but uh, this is just good looking. I mean, the trigger on here or the hammer action feels good. The uh, cylinder release button right here, just press it forward, comes out. And this one here does not feel near as stiff out of the box as that one did. And of course you got your, uh, right there's the lock where you insert the key. Uh, the hammer, it's got little notches on it. The thumb isn't really going to slip off that. You got the uh, notched back sight and the blade at front sight and one thing about these Taurus firearms I noticed on some of the revolvers a lot of people were saying that 
because it was like the barrel was almost offset from the frame here. Well, this in here straight as an arrow. As a matter of fact, that one's straight too. That's one thing I do look for if I'm looking at a any revolver really, especially a Taurus. It's got the same grips as the same grip as that one does. It feels real good in hand. Fits my hand perfect and like I mentioned before, this little notch right here on the bottom to lay my pinky finger on. Just feels real good. This is a sweet looking pistol, you can't deny it. Oh boy. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I go to buy an $8 hat and it ended up costing me almost $300. <laughs> oh well, stuff happens and uh, I'm going to give it a good cleaning. We've got the valve stall here. We've got the rim oil. We've got that and all lubed up and cleaned and ready to go. I've only got maybe 50 rounds. 38 Special Plus P through that one. I haven't even begun to break it in hardly and I've already turned around and got another one. Oh, what am I thinking? I guess I'm going to have to stop wearing caps. <laughs> well, everybody, I thought I'd let y'all get one last look at my uh, <clears throat> $300 cap here. <laughs> yeah, that's going to get this. That's pretty much what it cost me. All right. Yeah, Buffalo, Greg Newton, Thomas Oldstein, Scott, Fresh Fowler, all that bunch, Crazy Scotsman. Yeah, I know y'all laughing about that too, so just get it out of your system. There you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, anyhow, I'm going to be using, uh, well, like I said in the video about this one, a steady diet of 38 plus 38 special plus peas. Uh, from the video on this one here, it handled it really well. It was about like, well, a viewer left a comment saying 38 Special Plus P through this felt like handling a kitten. Yeah, it wasn't bad at all. And I'm gonna do the same with this. Now, if you're in a uh, defensive situation and you got a 357 Magnum round, you know, 158 grain or 125 grain stuff in this, Oh Lord, the concussion, the noise from this, you know, if you get the guy and you have to pull the trigger, you, you should lose some hearing, you know. Uh, the 38 Special Plus P, it's loud, but not near as loud as 357, plus uh, the recoil and the vibration, man, and these little things, it is very snappy, I'll admit to that. And I, yes, I have shot a few rounds of 357 Magnum through this right here. And all I can say is you better have a good grip. It's manageable, but have a good grip. 38 Special Plus P, nothing but a thing here. And it's very good defensive round, especially the hollow points. Oh boy, what am I gonna do with this? Well, probably the same thing I do with this and other revolvers I've got. You know, I'll carry them outside the waistband. Uh, inside the waistband, I only carry the semi-autos like my Glock 26 and uh, Glock 48 and MP Shield. But this right here, you know, th these are small enough to where you can put them about anywhere. And also another main reason I'm happy I've got two of the same guns is uh, Mr. Holster once said in a video here about a year or so ago, that he'd wasted a lot of time with all different makes and models when he should have been buying the same thing. He said, whatever your primary carry is, you should have the same type of gun as your backup. And I get that. I, I understand what he's saying. Now, as far as uh, what I am going to mostly do with these, I have a uh, self-defense plan for my home in case of home invasion or burglary. And believe me, the daggone meth heads are thick around here and they have no fear of consequence. But the word is out, you know, don't go to Mark's house because uh, you won't be leaving the same way you come in. All right, that's not a threat or anything. That's just what will happen if a bad situation arises. Anyhow, I have several different firearms in different 
positions in my house, and I'm never more than a few foot away from a firearm at any given time in my home, and they're well hidden. Uh, there's no worries about small children getting to them or anything like that, because when we do have, like my niece and her children come, I'll go around the house, I'll put them all up and lock them up. When they leave, I'll put them back where they was. You know, it's that simple. And uh, these revolvers, they are very dependable. Uh, there's not a whole lot can go wrong with them. Of course, Taurus has had that reputation getting a uh, jammed revolver. Yeah, <laughs> I've seen it. Anyhow, you have the same type of firearm, different points at the house. Makes the situation a little bit better in my favor, if you ask me, okay? Well, listen, I'm going to get off here for now. I babbled on long enough. I usually like to do a first shots segment when I'm reviewing a gun, but the weather today and it's starting to thunder again doesn't look like I'm going to be able to do it, so I'll save that for another video later on down the road, okay? I'm out of here. Hope everybody had a happy 4th of July, and I hope everybody has a wonderful holiday weekend. Catch you later.